And the third thing is you must always be able to answer any questions of your client. So here's what happened with Home Yeah. Home Yeah did this thing where, oh, we'll list your house for just $1,500 flat fee. But when they were putting the house on the MLS system or in the listings, they were having the other agents call the owners directly to schedule the showings, to write the offers. So basically all Home Yeah was doing was giving them access to the MLS without really doing any help. Well, they got sued and the NAR jumped on the lawsuit bandwagon and said, yeah, you're right. And they sued this company for what turned out to end up being about a hundred million dollars. <throat> and they went out of business. Then the NAR came along and said, yeah, that was really a bad deal. So if you want to be a limited services agency, you can do that. But in order to actually do what is qualified to be an agent, you've got to do these three things. It's the minimum level of service you can give and still be considered a real estate agent. <clears throat> Anything less than these three, huh? Are a violation. Now, over on page 124, I want to talk a little bit about business stuff. So let me go back over here real quick. Before we get talking about business, I want to talk about these two world words. Intra. and inter. These two words are completely different. Inter means between, like interstate between two states, internet between two computers. Intra means inside of. Anybody ever seen an intranet? Lily's has one where it's only inside of the company. Intracoastal waters inside of the coast. So those words become very important because when we're dealing with these Sherman antitrust laws, inter is illegal. Intra is legal. All right. So inter is illegal. Between the companies is illegal. Inside the company, it is legal. So let's go over what I'm talking about. First of all, the Sherman Antitrust Laws were designed so that everybody can play on the equal business level without somebody being bigger and forcing other people out. It is to install or instill a competitive market. There are a couple different levels or items that they talk about. The first one is called price fixing. Price fixing. Now, inter company is illegal. <clears throat> Meaning, I cannot call the Remax up the street I cannot call the Caldwell Banker, the Keller Williams, all of those and go, hey, you know, if we all charge 12%, that's a new market. We can all get paid more. That is illegal. Inter company. Now, intra company, inside of my company, I can tell all of you guys, all of my agents, hey, we only list for 20% commission. You don't like it, don't work here. It's my company, all right? So intra is legal, inter, not legal. Price fixing. I don't know if you guys remember several years ago, IMI, the concrete people got caught for this. 
all the concrete people were meeting in a horse barn in Anderson and trying to drive the price of concrete up and they got caught by the feds and issued, you know, uh, time in prison and penalties and all of that. <clears throat> That's price fixing. Group boycotting, same concept only the other direction. We cannot try and run a company out of business by boycotting it so I cannot call the other brokerages and go, hey, don't use Chicago title. If nobody uses them, they'll go out of business. That's illegal because it's across the businesses. But inside of my business, I can tell all you guys, all of my agents, don't use Chicago title. I don't like them. And that's legal. Are you getting what I'm saying so far? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? It's only intra company is it legal. On page 125, the allocation of customers. I cannot call Andy Dittmeyer on the north side and say, hey, you get a south side guy, send him to me. And if I get a north side buyer, I'll give him to you. Maybe a north side buyer wants a south side agent. <coughs> <laughs> but inside of my company, I can say, hey, Sarah lives in Avon. I don't know if that's true or not. I just made that up. So I'm going to give that buyer to Sarah while Gundan works on the south side. All right. Hi, Christina's husband. 